you guys doing? Jack here coming at you with another video and today what we're going to be talking about is changing the oil on a 6.4 diesel. It's the same whether it's F250, 350, 450, 550. All of them have the 6.4. The oil changing procedure is the same for all of them and uh, let's hop right into it. First thing that you want to do before you go to change your oil is make sure that you have everything ready to go because there's nothing worse than having to go get something during an oil change or working on a car in general. So first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have a large enough container to get all the old oil in. This is just a five gallon bucket and it seems to work for me. I used to use just like uh, litter buckets from cat litter but I figured I'd just get this. It has a lid with an o-ring in it so I can seal it and take the oil to wherever I dispose of it. You want to make sure that you have 15 quarts of whatever oil you use. I use the Motorcraft diesel motor oil. It works pretty good for me. It's what I've always used. Uh, get your filter. The filter is a FL2016 and it's a cartridge filter and you're going to want to open this up and make sure that you have the o-ring for the cap. I use arch oil in my oil changes. I have another video on it. I'll put a link in the description. It, I just throw it in there. It's pretty good. Uh, I couldn't get it in this box so gave it to me in a little plastic bottle. Uh, I don't do this for every oil change but when I do get an oil report done what you do is you take a sample of your old oil you write down the mileage and a couple specs about your truck and you send it in to the lab and they will tell you what is in your oil exactly. I use Blackstone Laboratories had really good luck with them so if you need that done use them. Make sure that you have plenty of paper towels ready to go and you're gonna need a 36 millimeter socket for the uh, oil filter cap and a 19 millimeter socket for your drain plug. Before you do anything else when changing your oil on one of these super duties is you're going to want to pop open the oil filter cap and let it come up. There's, it's spring loaded so it'll pop up as soon as it's loose. Don't do this one. This is your upper fuel filter so don't touch that unless you're doing your fuel filters also, which in which case you would touch that. But dead center, center of the truck, the cap all the way to the left is your oil filter cap because this is going to release a quart of dirty oil down into the oil pan. So let's go ahead and do that. 36 millimeter socket and, oh my gosh, this thing's tough. Let's pop this sucker open. Until, yep, yeah, there we go. Spring loaded, pops up. Just let that sit there for now. Now going under the truck, guys. Excuse me while I slither over here underneath this thing. We're going to want to get our bucket underneath our oil pan. And we have our 19 millimeter socket. Which we're going to throw on here. Pop this baby loose. sure that that bucket's under there because this is going to be like a flipping waterfall when it goes. You don't want to lose that oil plug down in this bucket. You literally might never see it again. And this is where the paper towels come in. So I'm going to go get myself some of them. Um, how long you let this drain is really all up to you. I know that at professional shops they just get the majority of it out and they ram the plug back in there. Uh, I don't know if there's any truth to this, but I like to let it run to a dribble. Just, you know, get all that bilge out of there. I'm going to let it go until it starts to drip, because right now we still got a steady stream going. Oh, I also went up on the top end of the motor, and I took off the fill cap for the oil, which should help it drain a little quicker also. Well, that's finishing up draining down below, guys. I like to come up on the top side and get myself just a paper bag put the oil filter in. So let's grab this out of here. I'm gonna pick it up. And when you've let it drain like this, it's not gonna be dripping all over the place like it normally would be. And you're gonna put it in the bag. Flip it from the cap. So you want your cap on its own. And we're going to replace the o-ring on this as well. All right, I forgot to mention this a little bit earlier in the video, but this o-ring on here, 
if you're having trouble getting it off, you might want just a pick tool to help get in there and roll it up off of the uh, seat that it sits in. And once you have it going, it goes pretty good and comes right off. And we're ready to put on the new filter element and o-ring. Slide on the new o-ring and clip in your new filter element like this. You'll hear it pop. Before you go and tighten this back down, you're going to want to take some motor oil and put it on this o-ring so that way it doesn't stick next time you go and try and get it off because these things will, if they're left dry, will stick unbelievably. Once you set it back down on the riser spring, I guess is what you'd call it, you just want to push it down and turn it until you can get it started. There we go. And then just torque it down until it's snug. Now we're going to go back underneath the truck, make sure that you have your drain plug and your lid. Wipe any of this little spills off of here and put your drain plug back in. Do not drop it in the bucket full of used motor oil. You will hate your life. Got it started. Tighten this up by hand. Get your ratchet a wrench, whatever you're using, put it on here, just get it snug. Just enough to crush the washer. Now that we're back up on the top side, we've put the oil plug back in our filter. Cartridge has been replaced, the o-ring's been replaced. You're going to want to get yourself a nice oil funnel that you've used preferably for clean oil. Stick it into the receptacle there and get yourself your unbelievable amount of oil that you get to hold in the air as you pour. You're going to kind of teeter over the truck as you pour the fresh oil into your motor. Pour it in the arch oil. Just make sure that all gets down in there and wash it around. Wedge that so that it will drain while I get the next bottle. And we're just about done. Just want to let that last little bit drip in there. Get your money's worth out of this stuff. Let's throw the cap on it. And we will check the level before we fire it up. Okay, let's pull the dipstick on this thing. And if this checks out, we will fire it up. Perfect. Make sure that your cap's tightened down, your lid is on, get any tools out of here or else you'll be sad when you hear them fall out on the freeway. And uh, let's fire it up. Take a quick look underneath to make sure that it's not leaking. Now's a good time to check the rest of your fluids. Uh, last thing that I like to do, uh, some people would rather put a little uh, sticker up in the left hand corner of the windshield, which you can do, and uh, it seems to work quite well for most people. I change my oil at home, I don't have a little sticker, so what I like to do is go to the trip page, and I don't reset the first trip because that's from when I bought the truck. And uh, trip B is the one that I always reset for my oil changes. So we're back at zero. Last oil change went 4,600 miles. It's quite a bit further than I like to go on an oil change, but nevertheless, we got it done. And a uh, common misconception is that when you unhook the battery that all this is going to get reset. It's not. Somehow the truck's computer hangs on to the information. I'm not really sure how or why, but it does. So just wanted to give you a little bit of a heads up there. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video about changing the oil on your 64 diesel, give it a thumbs up, like it, comment, whatever you want to comment. I don't care, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, if there's any tips that you guys want to give me on how to change oil, because 
I mean, I've had the truck for 40,000 miles. I've probably changed its oil 10 or 12 times by myself. Other people have changed it too. Uh, I feel like I've got it down pretty good, but there, I, there's always room for improvement. So give me some comments about how you change your oil, how you would do it differently. And uh, as always, if you liked what you saw, subscribe to the channel. Thanks. See you next video.